In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to import motion capture data into Blender. Here we have motion captured from a ballerina and stored in an action I've got another short animation of a jump kick and if I move this over make a couple of adjustments the Z height G to grab Z needs adjusting and the animation is about 150 frames so let's see what that looks like and there we have a jump kick links to most of the sites that I use can be found at this Blender Nation post in this section are links to free motion capture files that you can play around with and following the first link, if you scroll down a little bit, there is a mention of Blender. If I follow this link and scroll down, you can see this is where I got the ballet and the jump kick actions. I'm going to click the jump kick link and that will open the zip file. And in the zip file is a Blender file. If I double click that and if I press Alt and A to play the animation, we see a jump kick, alternate to stop it. Now, the gentleman who created this file, Michael De Andrea, also included the original motion capture file, the BVH file. While we've got the motion file open, let's have a quick look at the BVH file format. It's a text file format, obviously, and it starts with the hierarchy command, which is where the H comes from in BVH. It stores the armature as a hierarchy of bones, a tree structure of bones, starting at the root, the hip bone. Then you have chains or branches of bones. Uh, this one is starting, is the left leg, starting with the left upper leg, lower leg, foot, and then you have an end site. And coming off the root hip again is the right leg, starting with the right upper leg bone, lower leg and right foot. And below that will be an end site for that chain or branch. Then we have the chest and the left collar leading to the left arm, upper arm, lower arm, left hand, and there'll be an end site for that branch. And similarly, there'll be the right collar going down the right arm and an end site for the right arm and finally we have the neck and the head and the end site for that and that is the end of the definition of the armature then we have a section of motion and we have the position of the bones for 127 frames uh, when this was captured it was captured 1 of the second for each frame or 30 frames per second Using the text menu we can save the BH file separately and I've set up a folder for this tutorial so I'm going to save it in there. Then if I open that folder and double click the BVH file it will load in Dave Dub's BV Hacker which is a utility you can use to perform various operations on the BVH file. BV Hacker is handy for looking at motion capture files before you decide whether to import them into Blender. It nicely shows the hierarchy of the armature and it's got useful tools like centering the model if it's not centered and most probably most useful is the half sample. At the moment we've got 127 frames at 30 frames per second. If we click the half sample button that goes down to 63 frames at 15 frames per second and if we had dare to go down even further just to 31 frames at 31 keyframes at 7 frames per second then we can save that if I call this jump kick 2 and that would be a smaller lighter file 
Now I'm going to actually import some motion capture data into Blender. First of all, I'm going to do File New uh, and delete the default cube just to reset everything. Then I'm going to do File, Import, Motion Capture.bvh. I'm going to go to my folder I set up. There's JumpKick2.bvh. Import that. First of all, I'm going to put the mouse pointer as far as I can uh, in this top right hand corner. Press S to scale and shrink the armature right down about there. Uh, in the right view, R to rotate minus 90 and enter. And G to grab Z for Z direction, just bring him down a bit. And if we press play, we get a pretty quick jump kick, so we need to sort that out. The last keyframe is at frame 31. Uh, we halved the frame rate and then halved it again, so we need to double and double. So that will take the last frame, should be around frame 120. So how can we scale up those keyframes? while well, we do that in the dope sheet. So uh, change the properties window to the dope sheet. And here we've got all the keyframes for all the different bones. So I'm just going to close that up. I'm going to uh, just move that over and zoom in. We want to see 120, there it is. I'm going to uh, rewind to the first frame, press, put the mouse pointer about here, press S to scale and drag that across till we get to about frame 120, which is there. Now if, uh, if, if we set this to be about 125 as well, the total length of the animation, and press play, see what that's like. That looks about right for the speed of the animation. We have an armature and keyframes from motion capture data, but if you rendered this you'd see nothing. Because armatures only support and influence 3D objects. So we're going to have to add some 3D objects and I'll show you how to do that in part two of this tutorial.